Good Wednesday evening, everyone. It's fabulous seeing you all hopping on to Tuga Steve and everyone having their uh oh Carrie and Karen, Carl and Karen over at Chatuga River Supply Shop. Jeff and Kevin. Kevin, thank you for being our first or second supporter. We appreciate you, Kevin. Um <clears throat> Bill and everyone else. So we're going to start uh, the show off a little bit different tonight. Um, Katie is going to show the pictures you all sent because um, what's up, Irish and Dan and Fudd and Steve and Al. Um, she's going to show the pictures because there's some of you all that can't stay for the whole hour and have to come back. And we would like for you all to see the pictures of the beautiful Scotty's Midge, designed by Craig Matthews, that we tied last week. Uh, so you all talk amongst yourselves, um, make plans for this weekend at, in Atlanta at the Fly Fishing Show. And I will turn it over to my beautiful bride, Katie, as she shows you some of your wonderful pictures you submitted last week. Yes, let's get to it. You guys sent some really awesome pictures. So we're going to have a drawing for the ones that we got last Wednesday and the ones that we have to show for this Wednesday. So let's start with our new ones and then I will announce the winner. If that's okay with everybody. So um, here is, we got a couple from Mike, Mike Ragsdale. And of course, these are the um, Scotty's Midge. Scotty's Midge. Is on variations. Craig Matthews. Yes. Um, that we did last week. And um Here's another one from Mike. And then Kim Brooks, Kim, if you're on tonight, thank you so much for sending us another lovely picture of yours. Um, we have Jay Wilson. Thanks, guys, for remembering to tag us on Instagram in the picture. It's so much easier for us to find them. Josh Riston, thank you for emailing that to us. Um, Irish FF, like Irish Fly Fair. Kind of. Um, yes. And then we have Howie, a.k.a. Howard the Duck. Um, and I actually s grabbed this from his reel. He has a really cool reel um, where he's tying up one. If you haven't seen it, check it out on Instagram. Freddie, another beautiful photo by Freddie. I don't know what the fly is sticking into, but it looks really cool. Sometimes it doesn't matter. Um, sometimes I'll just find a piece of cool looking like cardboard or some random piece of scrap that I got from somewhere. And I'll be like, wow, that would look really cool on a really close up picture. And it looks like maybe that's what he's done here. Who, who did that one? I like that. Um, that's Freddie. Okay. And then David Smith, um, I, which is also Irish F right here. Um, and then we had Bill. Billy Bugs, that really hot tail on the end. Bling, bling. Al, on the, looks like the Renzetti, maybe like the uh, Bodkins. Bodkins? Yeah. Looks like the Bodkin. And then we had a last minute email from Steve. Another hot tail. Love it. Very buggy. And then I also wanted to include, um, we also got tagged by Mama Angler this week. I don't know if she's watching or not, but um, of course we've tied this one here on the show before and mm -hmm. I want to be sure I shared that as well. That was a pattern that I learned from, and I cannot think of his darn name, but when we were in, in um, Italy and we're fishing, me and that that British fella, and, he's, and he cut Andy. my blood, not Andy, um, Oh gosh, what is his name? It might be. It's not Andy Kitzer. It's uh anyway. Another fly. He he that. he proceeded to cut off my blowtorch and tie that on. He said, "Give that a try," and I did, and I was in love ever since. Huh. Well, I'm going to do a quick drawing here. Oh, there's no audio all of a sudden. Oh, can you all, can you guys hear us? There's a few people saying no audio, but Freddie looks like Bill, it's coming through. Well, there's. Well, it, Swear Yango says everything's fine. I'm getting okay, so we're gonna keep on unless you more of you don't have audio. Chris can't hear anything. I'm gonna draw. We're okay. gonna draw for our winner. Braille audio. Out of our really nice, if you guys haven't tried Angler Coffee, give it a try. 
And our winner this week is Irish FF. Congratulations, you're the winner. And would you like to show them what, um, do you have the... I don't have the gift card. He's going to get a $25 oh, right. gift card to Jay Stockard. So mm -hmm. Irish FF, send us an email at demothflyfishing at gmail.com. Uh, and we will send you a code for the $25 gift card. And if you guys are going to be in a fly shop between now and next Wednesday, or if you happen to have a $25 pack of four wings, hint, hint for next week. Anyway, Irish, it's rigged. It is totally rigged. Um, Steve, you're going to have to re watch it because last week or you, when we're going live, I said, oh, we got another submission. It's Steve. And that was one reason we're about three minutes later. Um, forget my flow. I was stuck in a little joy gift jewelry box. box. Cool. Yep. That's what I'm talking about. Sometimes you just kind of find random things and it just like immediately I'll see someone. I'll be like, oh, that would look really cool in a picture. Yes. So, yeah. Good yes, job, yes. Brady. Good job. Speaking of um, the fly fishing show, um, uh, Josh Riston, nothing to fraught fly fishing show, but thank you for being our, being a supporter. We appreciate it very much. Um, we're learning how this works, but you are one of the first ones. So thank you. Fly fishing show, Atlanta, Saturday, um, probably let's say three o'clock. So if you're going to the Atlanta show, if you'll be there Saturday, Let's all meet up at three o'clock. That's why I'm wearing this hat at the moonlit um, at the moonlit booth. So look for the moonlit booth. Uh, let's meet at three o'clock, and if nothing else, we will get a picture of all the whip finish Wednesday people, and uh, we'll hang out and chat a little bit. What's up, Greg? Uh, Greg was asking me some questions about flying. I believe that was Greg. Um, so how about we start tying uh, a little bit? As you all chat amongst yourselves. So this is where we're going to tie tonight. And we're going to tie a bunch of different variations of it. This is the guide's choice hair's ear, a little spin on it. Um, and we're going, and my hackle's a touch long on this, but I didn't feel like retying it. Um, here is another little variation with a different kind of hackle, different kind of, that's what I mean by we're going to tie up some different variations. This one has a peacock body and different hackle, um, a different color um rabbit and then here is a third one with hackle it's too long again um <clears throat> but different color everything so we're going to play with this quite a bit and um frankenfly if you just got on you can congratulate irish ff for winning the gift card to joe b there he is to jay stockard so we're going to start off by just tying uh plain jane try to be as original as possible and um, go on from there. So in the vise, I'm getting a four, size 14 Umqua XC400 BL. Just a good old uh, jig hook in the vise. And as you can see, pulling out one bead, do, putting beads on without glasses is not much fun. What's up, Mr. Collins? And Truman is there. Truman. I'll keep saying this, and, and you guys keep reminding me to say it. The Atlanta show, everyone meet up at 3 o'clock at the Moonlit booth. And we'll get a picture. We'll just hang out, or we'll figure something out. So 3 o'clock. All right, so we've got our, our hook in the vise. The thread I'm going to use for the standard one is the 12 uh Superfly Red Classic Wax Thread. So we will get this started. Man, John. That'd be Nan and John Collins, I believe. Got that star work I thread all the way to the back. So this is a, a fly that it was probably the first one. We went on Friday. It's probably the first one that um, good evening, Paul. Uh, Greg ask another question here if you'd like. Um, this is probably the first pattern that uh, I started playing with and started realizing that it was okay if I did not go by the pattern. Um so we're going to try to do the basic pattern pattern first, and then we're going to go from there. But um, for the tail, if I can find it, I'm going to grab a partridge feather. Here's one that I've got laying here. As you can see, just a partridge feather. 
I'm gonna pull off oh a nice little chunk of the fibers. So you can see how my butts are lined up. Pitch them together. I can see my tips are lined up, but they're going the wrong way. Do you guys know how to switch sides of your hackle, by the way? We switch over to the side thing, to the side camera, please. So I just pulled the I pulled the, the fibers off the stem. So I went like that, pulled it off. But now if I go tie in, they're going the wrong way. So as you can see, my little butts here, this will be, if you don't know this, this will be the one trick for the night. Um, I need them to go the other way. Well, if I start moving the stuff around, it'll, it'll, um, my, my tips will get all messed up. If I just hold it up, get my other thumb, put it together like that. See, and grab my finger and go like that. Now they're, now it's right. Does that make sense? So just, you can go back and forth like that. So I'll tie this thing on. Good job, John. I'm glad we could keep you entertained while you were being a true professional. You were wearing it out. Um, so I want this tail to be about half to the same. Uh, so we switch it back to the, the hook, please. Um, Michael, I think, I think everyone else has volume ex if anyone does not have volume, let us know, but I think you guys can hear, but if you can't hear, let me know. So where he's got an ink. Yep. All right. So I'm going to get my clump a, um, a little bit shorter than my shank. So I kind of measure, we'll do a pinch wrap, pull it down. I want to look at it and see how it looks. Is that shorter than my shank? No. So I'll just grab the whole bunch and pull it to length. So that looks a little bit better. Oh, my white. Oh, that's what happened to it. Okay. So now I'm going to wrap this forward. Just like this. Now we'll cut off these butt ends. And we've got our um, got our tail tied in. Now, if you wanted to on this pattern, if you wanted to tie um, just a clump of um, of your rabbit hairs mask, you can. One second, so I'm using a size 14 bill. It's a 14 Umqua XC 400 BL. And now I'm kind of out of whack. So the next thing we'll tie in is going to be the, um, the Mirage Tensile. This is the 0.8 millimeter, which is the same as the Pertagon. Oh, I'm sorry, not the Pertagon. This is that size. I actually grab the, there we go. I'm going to use the iridescent copper, sorry. I was looking for the thin stuff, and I grabbed my wing case stuff. Thanks so, for stopping in, Ken. See, Ken. Oh, I'm getting it bleeps. Huh. I don't know, I don't know what's wrong. If if everyone doesn't have, have uh, volume, then it is us. If, just, if it, most people have got volume, then it's typically not us. The only thing I know is wrong is my battery is dead on my light underneath the vice, but that's okay. You could always try to unplug it and plug it back in. That's right. Katie's always have has the that correct. Is, that is the fix. That's the old school from way back fix. Unplug it. And it still works. And plug it back in. Or bang on the top of it, but I, I don't I wouldn't recommend banging on the top of your computer screen. All right. No. Okay, so I tied in a piece of tippet on, on your side and a piece of that tinsel on my side. So that's probably, that is one difference that I like from the, the regular old blowtorch is um, being able to um, use that tippet or thread or something to, um, uh, to, to reinforce this tinsel. And I'm using tinsel here. Another thing you could obviously use is... Um, Crystal flash for the for the rib. I had to exit off YouTube and come back to get to work. Kevin, I'm assuming you're working now. So John's our 24 karat old school. Old school. Oh, my 24 karat is, but I'll take it. All right. So here's here's the cool thing. And we'll switch back up. We're going to use a rabbit's mask, a hair's mask. And I've got a few different colors down here. And we'll switch them, switch them around. We've got 
a Picric dye and Hair's Mask here. We've got a Light All of Hair's Mask here. We've got another Natural and a Bleach. So this will be our, um, that'll be what we're going to choose from. But here's the tool. Now, I'm going to show you this tool, but, but bear in mind, if you buy a Hair's Mask, they're not expensive, and you can grab them like this and just pull, pull like this, and you can get the fur off. See a little bit of fur there? And you can uh, you can dive it just fine, okay? But we're going to use a fancy tool, which is this one, and I keep it in in that little thing because this is a dubbing rake, and it is, um, I think it's porcelain. I can't remember the name. Can't remember what it's made of. But I'm afraid if I drop it, it'll just shatter, and it's really expensive. It's so expensive. We're going to give one away. I've got a brand new one in the box right here. And Ooh. probably next week we'll give it away. And this is, once again, this is compliments of Jay Stockard. Um, Thank you, Jay Stockard. But uh, I want to show you, this is just one of those things, like, once you use it, you might think about buying one. But when I first saw it, I was like, there's no way. The thing is so expensive. And then I used one. I was like, well, that's pretty cool. So... Depending on where you get the fur from the mask, it'll have a different texture. So if I get it like from the ear itself up here and just kind of scrape it down, it's going to be very, um, tell me if you can't see the stuff. Uh, it's going to be very spiky. It's going to be very um, um, coarse. Uh, real, really good stuff for to give you the extra like spike. Um, if you get it here to the cheek, See, it's real. You can feel a difference. So I'm just getting down here. And I'm just going to kind of comb some of it out. And this is going to be a lot, lot uh, fuzzier. This is going to hold together. I won't say it's going to hold together better, but it's got a lot more like under fluff in it. And um, it'll stick, if that makes sense. So I'm going to put both these together. And we'll pull off some from here in the, the front. And let's get a little bit more from here. Just for the fun of it. There we go. Oh, that's way too much. And if I was going to tie a bunch of these, I would scrape off a, a bunch all at one time and then be kind of done. I wouldn't try to custom do this every single time, but it's kind of fun. You can change the colors up. It's solid black diamond. Solid black diamonds, right. Well, on my wife's back. It does look like a teeny tiny little back scratcher. So... Or a rake, Freddy, or a rake for little, little tiny trolls with hair that sticks straight up. So Freddie got got one, and John got one at the symposium last year, and Freddie says worth the money. And I'm telling it, it, when it comes to doing this, it it's pretty slick. So let's switch back over to the hook, and we're all we're going to do troll rake. It's a troll rake. That's what it's called, a troll rake. It just like a little troll if they're oh, raking. Oh, gotcha. Like a troll. Yeah, a troll. Come on. I was like, what the heck? You know, trolls. Yep. I got you. So now I'm just dabbing up a relatively thin noodle. Let's see how this is going to go. I'm going to have a little, not enough spike in it, but we'll see. So I'm going to bring my thread back to the rear, so it starts, so my dubbing starts right at that tail, and I'm gonna bring it up, and just for the fun of it, I'm gonna give this a little spin to tighten that up. I think like 45 bucks for waxing it up. So Bill got one, they're sharp too. Yes, they are sharp. Zirconium encrusted, that sounds right. I mean, they are pretty darn cool. I mean, that's like Home Shopping Network jewelry, like level, next level. Absolutely. Okay, so you can see I've got my body done nice and pretty. Probably a little bit far forward, fur forward, but that's okay. Let's see if I can shorten this up, get around my... Yeah, that'll work. So I'm going to put that in my... Put my bobbin in my cradle, and I'm just going to wrap up in the opposite way of my uh, thread, I'll wrap my tinsel so it's even. 
Okay. Good enough so far. Thread up, up, cross it here. Up, cross here. When it, the reason I'm crossing it is that it helps me capture the tinsel without pushing the tinsel and loosening it up as much. Does that make sense? Bet your puppet dog would love you to hold that bunny mask. She's not like do the, the of course I do keep the mask pretty well. I mean comparatively I've I've got those are only what six masks, five masks or so. And we've got like five hundred um bird skins. So she has eaten a bird skin. So this this I'm gonna run the same way. So the opposite way I just just ran because this is going to reinforce that body. Okay. And that is 8X Tippet. And I got that at Smoky Mountain Angler because they had it on sale because no one uses 8X, I guess. And we were like, let's get this 8X Tippet. Maybe we can find something to use it for. Yep. Okay. So do you see how thin that is? That's kind of key. I, I see a lot of them that are really fat. And unless you put a bunch of lead under there, and I'm sorry, my other lights. Do you have another one of these lights or something we put under there? Mm -hmm. um, but uh, but unless you got a bunch of lead under there, there's no need to um, to build this up size wise with the dubbing. Just you can see, I've got a little bit of a taper, and most of my taper is going to come from my peacock. Then we'll tie in just a minute. All right, now I can't find the other. Mirage tinsel. Here we go. So this is going to be from a wing case. Use whatever size. That tippet idea is awesome. I'm going to use it on other patterns. And Dan, I, I um was somewhere. It was at the darn Taylor Swift concert. And I was sitting in a hotel room as Katie and the girls. The three girls were four girls, technically. We're at the Taylor Swift concert, and I was sitting there, and I brought all my tying stuff. I was going to tie a fly, but I left my tippet. I was like, oh, no, I can't do it. But when, uh, and I hope, I'm not looking. I hope someone's making, like, a funny comment about coming to the Taylor Swift concert. But when um, I just used my thread, I just put my thread in dubbing loop, had it back here, did everything, and then wrapped up my thread. It worked great. So if you get to a pinch, you don't have the tippet, just use your thread. You'll be okay. No big deal. All right. So now we're going to use peacock. Sorry, I can't see it. But it's, there we go. Just regular old peacock. I'm going to grab two, two pieces, two sticks. And if you want to be fancy about it, and um, that one just did not want to come out, and use a um, peacock eye, feel free. Oh, thank you, honey. I knew we had. Let's turn that. There we go. Well, that would be right. Down just a bit. You're welcome. Thank you, honey. All right. So you can you definitely use a, the peacock eye for this, but uh, for this application, I really don't think it's super necessary. All right, got that tied in. Once again, I'm gonna bring my bottom cradle around. And does that look okay? Yeah. And it's okay if it overlaps. It's actually quite preferable if it did. And let's yeah, we'll get that. And we'll tie that off with a couple wraps in the front. Or Lock in there. Either way. We good so far? I wish you could see that better. Yeah. It's looking nice. Bring this forward. Our little bit of flash. That peacock looks nice. Well, thank you, honey. You can just leave it like that if you want. So I have tips for the but I cut off about an inch of the tips. And uh, tied them in by the tips. Not a good question. Put a collar on there and call her a day. 
That's what we're going to do, I hope. Well, you might want some hackle. Maybe. Well, that's almost a collar of hackle. All right, so that's that's what that looks like so far. Um, and now we're going to do, do our, our um, Hungarian partridge. So here is a, um absolutely gorgeous Hungarian partridge. Um, this one is from Golden Stone Outfitters, and uh, they're I believe, up in New Jersey. They're up John Collins' way. And I've told this story about how I found out about them a bunch of times. I'm not going to go into it this time, but um, this is one of the first ones I've found that you get. That is the beak, and it is pretty awesome. Now, when we're chatting with Craig Matthews, and he is, it's hunting season, and he has some Hungarian partridges, and I say, hey, guys, if you want these, give him a call or send him an email. Get one from Craig Matthews because they're awesome. But um, otherwise, for quality-wise, these if, if – Golden Stone Outfitters has them, and they're like this. These really can't be beat, and this one cost me 48 bucks. So they're not cheap, but, I mean, compared to what, what a, a cheap one is, none of them are really that cheap. So why do you want the whole neck, you might say? And the reason is, the, just like on dry fly hackle on a cape, the farther up the neck you get, the smaller the feathers. So I'm going to, um, and, look, and this just this is absolutely loaded GSO Partridge Rocks. Oh, Mike knows about GSO Partridge. Is that the what the cool kids call it, GSO? Um, yeah, I don't know Fre Freddy. If it, I'm assuming it's pronounced Freddy with one D. Same one. This would be the best I've ever seen. Um, lighter color shirt might help. How about no shirt, Bill? Maybe I should do no shirt at all. That would be lighter colored. <laughs> <laughs> Oh gosh, yes, it probably would. Um, okay, so I've got one little one here just to show you. And we'll pull off the fluff. Now let's look at the the um, fly. Please, KT. Well, you look in the upper or whatever hand corner and see the the feather fits this fly much better. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move this over to the side and grab my tweezers. I'm going to use my tweezers because I just want to grab it right by the little tip here. Uh, about right there. Okay. And I pull this back. So I've got my Little bit, little bit of a triangle there. The guy who raises those is retiring. Yep, I've, I heard the, that's what um, John Apgar told me. I like the little box. I don't know. Yes, lots of different feathers. Like, yep. So I'm gonna cut that off. Make a little, very small triangle. Now we'll go up to the. Okay, we'll switch it back over to the vice. And while you're doing that, I'm gonna get my hackle pliers. So. It's that little little triangle we had. We'll hold it right here. Do one wrap. Make sure it's kind of aligned the way I want it. Two wraps and then three. So we nice and pull nice and tight in, locked in, not go anywhere. That means my hackle pliers. Grab by the tip right here. Now on these, wet my fingers. What's back? I literally want one wrap. Do not overdo it on this part because that's what will get you. And that's all I had. But um, I see a lot of people doing like two, three, four wraps. And this is not a, this fly is not going to be, you can see how much hackle is there. One wrap, if I had twice a hackle, in my opinion, that would be over hackled. That's just my opinion, though. And doesn't really count for much. And I can't cut out the stem. There we go. What was the color of this one? This is just your standard. Um, what it looks like. Yep. This yeah. is without really changing anything around. Red collar. And do you know the differences like between our Kate and asked about English, Hungarian. I do not know the difference between I don't either. the different kinds of uh, partridges. 
I, I'm thinking one like is American. I don't know. So here we go. Here's our completed proper hackle length um, guy's choice hairs here. But dang, that bead is going to sink. What was the color of that cape? This one's just natural, Chris. I mean, part of supplies is going to be pretty rare. Do you see? Yep, I've heard that as well. Um, so the, this one's just natural. And in my opinion, just, you can see I'm going to flip over to the side here um, while, I'm, while I load this up. In my opinion, this is just a natural color. Hungarian partridge is just phenomenal. They're, they're, you can see the speckling so much easier. And I, it's one of those confidence things. I feel like that's like the best color to have regardless. But we are going to play with other colors. Um, so let's do like a, well, I'll let you all decide. Here's some other colors that I've got. So you got to answer quick. I think I never gonna say we got purple. Done. We got this cool honey, 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 honey done right here. Natural. If you don't have Hungarian partridge, something like this works really nice. Um, this is a natural Brahma hen, soft tackle with chickaboo. Um, here is one from Nature Spirit. This is a natural dark done select hen. Olive, we got one olive, purple. The, all these will work for this pattern. Ginger and more purple. Um, so we'll do the honey done. So I see a couple people talking about honey done already. Joseph, how about we'll, we'll do olive. We'll do an olive body after this one. I think I handpicked out that honey done one. You did. You absolutely did, honey. Mm-hmm. Because you're fancy like that. That's right. That they're they're easy I'm to get. All you, all you have like to that. do is fly to Idaho mm -hmm. and get one. Yes, CDL does. Not to be confused with honey dude. That's right. I like it. I like it though, Kevin. A honey do list. I no, I know, girl. I got a honey done list. You know what I'm saying, honey? My honey done list. Mm -mm. You don't? don't. Well, Kevin understands. Kevin's got it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I don't have any excuses now because I've got my glasses on. Get that ramped up. All right. Let's, uh, on this one, let's go. With, we're gonna switch up. This is a, switch up the color of the mask. So, do we want to? Yeah, we'll do that. Sorry, I'm, this is me like talking and trying to make sure I know what I'm doing, kind of, and I don't because I'm looking for something. This is how bad I am. I was looking for this feather right here that I knew that I had. I can find that in all of variation of a hair's ear or waltz. Yep. Here's what hackle pliers you recommend, Craig. The um, if you've got hackle pliers and you're like, oh, my hackle pliers are fine, except for when I'm doing really delicate stuff, then you can probably appreciate some good hackle pliers. The the ones that I would recommend are these right here. They're CNF. These things with the rubber right here. These are worth it. These are phenomenal hack, apl hack pliers. These are great. Um, now you'll notice right here, I've, I've got some some like all purpose these loon ones here, and these are fine. They, they, these will work ninety percent of the time. These are these are great hack pliers. There's a lot of other ones here just fine. But for the delicate stuff, when you need something to be real precise, um, you know, forty bucks or so for these CNF hack pliers. Um, I know a lot of the guys here have them. Um, but, um, but I mean, this is, I've got both sets. <laughs> so they, these two are, these, these are great. I would definitely recommend the, the one with the spongy thing, not the hard, but that's just my personal opinion. 
this is this is one of the tools that I will say is is worth splurging for. Right? Wait, just wait and save up, ask for for like a present sometime. So I'm gonna take my feather, pull the feather away. That's my honey done. Now, uh, I guess I need to start some thread on this hook here. That'll help before I tie the thread on or before I tie the tail on. Okay, bars. Uh, they're not going to be any more, Jim. Um, look up CNF USA. If you can't find them, send me a note and I'll tell you who they are. Um, and say, hey, John DeMoose said that this stuff would be easy to find. Where do I find it? But I can um, help you find it for sure because they were recently bought, the distribution in the United States was bought by another company. And I can't think of the name of Ranger Outdoors. That's it. And uh, they happen to be located in Tennessee, I think. So I can help you find somewhere to buy them. And since I'm just messing around here, Remember this weekend, if you're going to be in Atlanta, 3 o'clock at the Moonlit store, Moonlit um, booth. Let's meet up there. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to tie my Pertagon tinsel in on my side. Put my clip, and I'm going to get my 8X tippet and tied in on your side. I'm kind of making sure it's tied in. And there we go. All right, so we got, see how we got them tied in on both sides. Now, here's the reason why. If I was going to take my, if I tied everything on this side, and if I, if I was going to wrap this the normal way, same direction of my thread, my first wrap hits and, and scrunches over my tail. Same thing with it, with my uh, tippet. If my first wrap went over like that, I would hit my tail, and I don't want to do that. So my first wrap goes underneath the, the shank. That's why I'm doing that. Greg, Ranger, Ranger, yep, Ranger. All right, so we're going to scrape this off a bit. We'll get this kind of extra yummy. I don't we'll mix it or anything. Remember, a super fine noodle. Not super fine. You can see the color difference of this Pickwick dyed hair's mask. Kind of a yellowish, greenish. Coolish color. Now this should be quite a bit spikier than the last one. Can you get tired? Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm forgetting something. I don't know. What's up, Ed? Yes, that's right, John. I, I figured I'd mess it up. Okay. So we'll, we'll say that's enough. So I've got a little noodle that you can barely see of that good, freshly harvested dubbing. And I'm going to start right by... Here we go. Just touching wraps. Just kind of watching, so I've got a fat piece there, so I'm kind of advanced quick, and then slow where I've got the thinner. There we go. I really like that dubbing. You can see how that's quite a bit of different color. I like it too, honey. I like it a lot. Quite a whole lot. Di different color there. Bottom cradle, now we're going to do the same thing we did before. Like this. 
And remember, I use a thin noodle so I can have a nice thin body so it'll sink quicker. Oh, let's pull this on top of itself and bring it back. And I'll show you the, here in a second, I'll show you the first, like, major change I made to a fly. And I thought, I, I remember I, I, I sent Clark or sent Cheech a note. This has been you know, quite a while ago. I was like, hey, I think I came up with a new pattern. And he never said anything I'm like, dude, you're dumb. But looking back on it, I'm like, holly, that was pretty stupid. Because all it is add ice stub to this pattern. And I caught a bunch of fish on it. But all I did was add ice stub. Okay, so we got our body made. Good. Make sure to stop by and say hello to Pat Dorsey. Yes, he is going to be Atlanta. Superfly still sell the picker dyed mask. If Gary was on, I would we would ask. I do not know. I'm sorry. And that's uh, what hook? This is this a size 14 A-Rex Freshwater 5. Sorry, this is a size 14 Umqua XC 400 BL. So let's use this. We've got the honey. I'm trying to think something that'll look good with the honey. Wow, what's that nifty ring you have there? Do you like this? This is the pretty cool. Pretty cool golden olive. Maybe. Let's uh I'm taking too much time now. Yeah, I fell asleep five minutes. Great, great. Ago. Thank you. Let's do golden olive. That'd be good. Yep, so I think that's that a great idea. So this is the, uh, if you don't quit, you know, I'm going to go to sleep over here. So this is the scud diving. And it's just one of those things. I'm, I, since this is sparkly, I don't worry about putting a wing case on it. Um, this is what I've, I used to put. Um, oh, gosh. I used to, uh, I used to just put some sort of a, like an attractor color and brush it out and then make like a little veil and it worked really well just like this <clears throat> you see that's that is that and i'll just brush that out because that's just going to put a little sparkle down the the body, a little extra sparkle. Flaw this up. So just like that. I'm sorry, I keep saying that. Just like that. So similar to the, the Hungarian partridge, small to bigger. So I'm going to grab one that I think will work. Before I pull it off, I'm going to hold it up to the, the fly. It's too long. So I'm going to go up a little bit higher. And we'll keep my fingers crossed at this one. I'll go a little bit further up. I should have whispered to it a little bit more. And I think Greg was at, whoever was asking about the pack of pliers, really, see, I just broke the, just the tip of that off. I think I can, I can try. When you're talking about hack pliers, that these teeny tiny feathers that we're using can be very difficult for any hack plier to really get a hold of and not break. And really, this is going to be a good test. Because with this feather, I might want to get two wraps. I'll see how that looks with one. Katie, okay, you want to switch it back over? There we go. Hey, cut off the tip or broke it off and just had a tip. And I still made that work. Thanks, John. You too. See you, John. Thanks for hopping up. Model. It's a X, XC400. I think that's, that's that. But yeah, I think that uh, the color is really nice on that um, 
on that feather, on that cape. I love it. Okay. So we'll do one more real quick one. Um, this one is, this, <laughs> this one just looks cool. But you can see how that looks totally different. Now this does not, that one does not have the peacock, the national peacock for the body or for the, the thorax. It just has the scud dubbing. But you can see how that adds a lot more flash and a lot more sparkle going down the body. Although it's not really necessary because you do have the um, ribbed flash there. Um, thanks, Josh. Um, and then you got that, you can see the colors of that uh, hackle is just darn fancy. Fancy, fancy. So one more quick one. Since no one said purple, I'm going to do purple and olive. Yes, purple and olive. And I'm using a 3.3 millimeter. It's not beam. very democratic of you. No. Well, so is it olive. Um, earlier. So I like 3.5 to 3.0 on uh, these size 14s and nothing wrong with throwing lead on there as well but i'm still big on i've got all these different corn size beads and trying to figure out which one will sink quicker if i start throwing lead as well then it just makes it that much more like what's next what do i one more thing for me to keep up with which flies have got the lead which flies don't so I hope this is probably the last one. I feel a lot better if you have the same issues from time to time. Which issues is that, Jasmine? Um, or which issues are those? So hopefully, that we're not hopefully, this will probably be the last one we tie this evening. So if you've got any questions, let us know. And to Josh and Michael, I believe. Chris wants to know if purple ever works. Or if it that's does. This is almost like for Chris in particular because he, he's always ants on a purple. I might just bring this one to Atlanta and say, here you go, Mr. You should force feed it to him. Just give it to him and say, man, not going to work. Mm -mm. So I've got, I got a big, big feather here. I'm going to pull the fuzzies off. So one thing you, I've been doing kind of behind the scenes is pulling the um, my tail. So I'll, I'll hold the the fingers that you see right now are holding the, the product that I'm going to use. I grab the feather and I pull it away. So that usually gives me straighter tips or straighter butts. So pull the feather away from uh, your hand versus your hand away from the feather. I don't know if that's 100% true. That's the way I do it, and it seems to work pretty well. It sounds, you know, like it could be right. It does sound like it could be. I don't know that one. So we're going to do the same, exact same thing. This one's going to be an olive body. But we're going to do a different, guess what color, Pertagon tinsel we're going to use. <laughs> you betcha. I was looking forward to this one. I'm like, you guys can pick any color you want to as long as it's, as long as it's purple. And I'm going to find my tippet. I did not put it, Nan. This is where I try to. You should have told me put it back underneath my thing because I try to put the tippet under my pawn. I got carried away and didn't that time. So you see, I've got oh, just some tippet here. Pull that out. And we'll tie this on your side. Hold both of them down. Okay. 
So I've got everything tied in. Okay. So someone said all of them. So that's what we'll do. What do you want to tell you? Glenn Hackle breaking. No, yeah, that, that's, that is definitely not, that happens to all of us. So you'll, yeah, let's, let's just show this fun part. So I'm going to just kind of pull some of this out. Don't need too much. Your hand's in the way. I can't see you raking oh, the goodness out. Sorry, I was literally just raking it. I know, you just need to just need, take like your you can, time. I Katie, wish, if Katie, I could I slow mo can... it right now, <laughs> if I could slow mo it right now, just doing cool. like this. I mean, it, to just doing it like this. You can see the chunk I've got plenty out. But just grab this and then pull it, and you can see it just like pulls it up. And there's like that's probably enough for about three or four flies there. But um, depending, it's kind of fun because you can kind of learn. And it makes a cool sound the, too. The, the different spots that have got different kinds of of dubbing. Like the spiky or the more whatever. Um, so anyway. So Ch Glenn, what's up, Chad? There's someone. Oh, Al was saying he's that you've got one on order. So I love you got it. One on order for Al. <laughs> I love that shirt. It's awesome. All right, so we're gonna mix this up, just like we were doing. Like I said, you got about five hundred different kinds. And uh, Glenn, you were asking about the rake. This is the ceramic zirconia dubbing rake. Let me put this it in front of the vice so you can. There you go. That right there. That is a rake we're using. And we'll give one away in a couple weeks. All right. So I'm going to do the same thing. We're going to do a really thin, tight noodle with this big glob of olive dubbing. And this is kind of our. This is the one when you post this, someone goes, well, that's not the way you're supposed to tie that fly. Like, yep. So we're not going to post it because we don't want to hear it, and we'll just fish it. And um, I bet you we'll find a fish that will be like, what the heck is that? That's right. We're not going to take any of that. We're not going to hear about it. We don't take any of that lip. Nope. We don't take no lip off no barkeep. That's right. Now Katie's getting into it. At to see the live chat. <laughs> yeah, there's been quite a few people, Chad, that are like, they're like, what the heck? I've been trying to get it, but I can't. Okay. So now we've got our, our nice little olive body done. Pull our uh, thread in the bobbin cradle. That was a little thicker. I don't like that one quite as much, but hey, we've committed. That is a little thick for me, but like I said, well, this is just kind of messing around, right? So Chris really won't like, not only does that purple, it's going to have way too much purple on it. So this one's going the same way as my thread. Chris, I figured that you, if you ever would, this would be the fly. I'd be like, well, I don't know about that one. Let's give this a little rough up if I can get some of that to come out. See for me that might be that that um tinsel's a little bit thick. I should have chosen a different one. I should have done this before we went live. Oh well. Hey, since we got this olive, we'll use the just keep it crazy. Pick a curl. So I'm gonna grab two. Steve was asking if I was tying it on. Uh, I grabbed like six. I was tying them by the tip. So you got the butt ends here. Let's switch over to the side. All I'm going to do to tie this this on, so I'm going to grab my grab that uh, peacock, cut about uh, about that much of it off. So my tips my tips are lined up. Now we can switch back over, and I'm going to capture it. 
and pull it to length. And then we'll just wrap it up. Oh, shit. Put some more tinsel on. Well, two behind, two in front, maybe go three. Great. So you've used the, I have an original laws version. They're very close to the same. Cool. Okay, so now we're going to use this color. Oh, my thing's in the way. This uh, this purple. This is a whiting freshwater streamer hen cape badger dyed purple. Let's see if we find a feather that is going to be the correct size. I promise you, this one might be the right size. How'd that sound, baby? Sounds good. Might be the right size, promise. Mm -hmm. All right, so I've got it by the tip here. There, cut that off. Just get a little, this here, see, see a little triangle. All right, so we got that tied in. And we'll put a, one or two wraps here. Fold this back. This has not been my favorite to fly because that tinsel has kind of got me out of out of whack. I think, we'll put, I think this one I'm gonna go with two. The partridge I like just one. So I've got one wrap, two wraps. I'll pull everything. One, two, three. Grab that stem, pull that out. Oh, that's going to be some purple goodness fun. That wasn't too bad, was any? Right, Prince would still fish this bug if he was still alive. <laughs> it's lots of like that almost like purple furnace. Yeah, that's uh, it was badger dyed purple. Unfortunately, my thread is purple too, so I can't really build up much of a hot spot. As you can see, this um, we'll switch over to the side. So here, here is the um, here is as you can see, I was got the badger, the black in the middle, and the purple. But if that wasn't your bag, here's more just purple model. I think this might be lavender. Yeah. So. Anyway, we do need to head on down there finish. to the new shop. We haven't seen it yet. No, we in real life. We haven't. Tying this one up with some of how it's cool, Josh. That sounds awesome. Um, Chad, we'd love to. Um, we would absolutely love to, but just kind of like when we get over there close to the, the original shop, it's a bit of a haul for us to get up there. But um, Katie, are you gonna be in Knoxville this weekend? Yes, getting the car service. So you could probably go and say hello. If I can have a car. Good luck getting the car. Well, yeah, really. really. Chad, come pick you up. I'm sure you and Claire would have nothing. You, please come pick me up. That's what Claire was saying. Can we go? please go to a fly shop? I don't know. It may just be me going down and not her. Who knows? Um, anyway, uh, and dang it, the stinking... Instagram, I forgot about all that, so I'll just move that there so you can kind of see it. Um, so we are going to give away one of these uh, rakes the next couple weeks, so stay tuned for that. Um, thank you so much for the questions. For those of you all that did sign up to be a supporter um, or a promoter, thank you very much. That's going to help pay for shipping for stuff like this right here is going to help buy little things here and there to give away and just support us in general. So we really appreciate it. We've never had a way to really do that. And Chad, Katie is wearing her bling bling just for you. <laughs> um, so Chattooga River Fly Shop, thanks for hopping on with this earlier. I don't know if you're still there. Al, I don't know. It, uh, you, Josh Risson signed up. Um, I know, and Mike did as well. 
He can tell you, I believe. So look up Charles Richardson and ask him. Um, so post up your uh, guy choice hairs here. Um, I didn't do one where I used the, the hair for the tail, but if you've got, and if you don't have that, I've got some nature spirit. Here's my stuff. I mean, that work just fine. Not a big deal. If you're going to be Atlanta, um, John Christopher and I, he's my 11 year old son. He will be there with me, escorting me, but we'll be there this weekend, just on Saturday. Um, we'll probably be hanging out with, um, uh, Chris over at project healing waters. We'll be hanging out, um, at moonlit. We'll be hanging out at the Alaska place. Uh, seasons on the fly lodge, but at three o'clock, moonlit, check it out. Go to that um, booth, and we will take a big picture. Hopefully, um, thank you, Greg. Thank you, Steve. Chad, I've um, I've never been to Chattooga River Fly Shop. We have been looking forward to going over there sometime, but they've been on for the past couple months, posting flies and everything. So it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, Steve. Um, no, not much fun. Amarind, it's good to see you. All right. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next Wednesday night. Remember, get your caribou if you don't have it. Irish uh, FF, send us a note. We'll get you your gift certificate on the way. And yep. I'll turn over to Katie to, to uh, say bye-bye. See you guys. Bye-bye. Don't take no lip off, no bar keeps. Bye, guys. Have a great weekend. We'll see you next week.